What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I am both a Nerdy Collector and an eBay reseller. It's that time again, it is a weekly roundup of all the things that I've bought from charity shops throughout the week, because that's what a weekly roundup would obviously be. Uh, there's not a great deal, uh, once again, uh, work's been a little bit busy. Um, in fact, I'm fairly sure that everything is from one charity shop. I've been to... Uh, I would say I've gone to charity shops probably six times this week. Um, the same one like four times and then a different one twice. So we'll break this up into two sections. Uh, stuff to buy to sell on and things to buy to keep slash CX. So right we'll do the gaming stuff at the end uh, which wasn't too bad actually um, but we'll do all the other bits beforehand. So picked up this item for now I'm not sure how much of this do you guys can see but um that is Rupert the Bear um and it's to be fair I don't even know what it is I just sort of picked it up and thought yeah that'll do um I think it might actually be a duvet cover it feels like a duvet cover yes haha -ha, buttons it's a duvet cover um so obviously I need to now measure it to see what size it is um and then try and get a date actually probably could do that now We'll see how disappointed I'm going to be when I realise it is something completely new. Although I don't think it is. It can't be. It smells so lofty. Any dates on that? No. It's a single bed. It's a kid's bed. Which, you know what would make sense? It is Rupert the Bear. Um, nothing on that. And then let's go right down to the end. But it's, it is quite nice actually. Can I feel anything in that? No. And no. Well, if anyone can help me out with a date or how on earth I can ID this for a date. Um, but I've got somewhere to go now, which would be a Rupert the Bear single kid's bed. I do quite like it, but it smells so lofty. Next up to resell, we have Speak Out. Um, it's the game where you have to put like a a plastic thing in your mouth which keeps your mouth open so your teeth are all out on show and you've got to try and say certain things so 50 pence i'm uh, probably looking at about nine pound 99 including delivery so it's not huge amounts it's just standard board game fodder to be honest uh probably won't sell until christmas as well i would have thought but for 50p and it's sealed i've got to pick it up right then cex trading uh two items not the biggest or best items we have 101 dalmatians dvd uh absolutely fine paid 25 pence and we also have the rescuers um is this down under no just the rescuers so again 25 pence i think that's about a pound trading and uh, i don't know maybe about a pound 20 I'll be honest, because I've only got the two items, I didn't see the point in going onto the CX website and um, seeing what everything was worth. So, 50 pence, um, yeah, probably a couple of quid in vouchers maybe. So, last two items, um, this was, well, the last three items. These two were two of the last things um, that I see in the shop. Um, we have Zelda's The Wind Waker, um, this the two game edition, if I show you guys inside. We have Orokin of Time, we have Wind Waker. So, paid a pound. There was also a third party controller, um, which was just, it was bad. So, whether, this was actually mixed in with all the DVDs as well. So, whether the guys who possibly bought the other games completely missed it, I don't know. Um, failing that, it's a game that I need. It was only a quid. Uh, the case is a bit screwed, uh, but. I'll be able to find another one. Discs need a bit of a clean. Um, I'm going to speak to the guys at my local CEX. The, the normal price I think is two pounds, um, but I know a couple of guys that work there, so I'm going to try and be nice and polite and see if they'll do me at a discounted rate. I say do me, I mean do the discs, obviously. So yeah, paid a pound for that. And uh, as of last year, I started collecting still books. And we do actually have Devil May Cry 4 still book for the xbox 360 so open it up and there we go all nice and clean inside uh, the front is actually quite clean as well a lot of these you tend to get markings on the edges but paid a pound for this still book i'm quite happy the case is i've seen better days 
um, and I've also put it on backwards which is uh, just me all over really but yeah collector's edition there was also oblivion but the the outer case was ruined um, and it was missing a disc as well so I thought I'd just leave it there for the time being and if it's still there when I go there next week I'll, I might as well pick it up because um, I'm sure the discs well it was a bonus disc that was there it was the actual game disc that was missing so I'm sure I could replace that no problem at all last item and possibly my favorite item of the week we have a Dreamcast controller paid a whopping two pounds uh, yeah I got to this charity shop at the, uh, the, the start of the morning nine o'clock because that's when it opens um, and look down I don't really look at steering wheels because they're normally the Xbox ones and they're the third party ones that are worth absolutely nothing but obviously I noticed that little symbol just there which is obviously Dreamcast so I've not tested it yet um, but I do plan to as you guys might be able to tell there's a TV behind me which is not normally there I'm trying to test out the N64 that I bought last week however I'm not having much luck um, I've bought a new TV uh, cable from eBay from a reputable seller and it's not working I'm getting the sound but the image is not quite there um, I spoke to someone who thinks it might be the power supply but in my head that doesn't work because you're still getting the, the sound and not the image so I'm just gonna keep on playing um, and from what I could tell uh, the only game that worked was Pokemon Stadium which is really annoying but yeah sorry back to this paid two pound uh, it's actually worth about 15 possibly 20 quid if you're very very lucky um, but yeah I'm happy with that it's something that I don't have one day I may even find a box for it but that is it from me as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios